I think obviously Chiefs are a very, very good team. We know that. They finished close up in the in the um, league last season, and um, they're a quality side, and they they're probably the favourites for the championship. You know, but having said that, um, you know, it's still early days for all the teams. All the teams are still trying to find the best combinations and so on and so forth. And uh, Chiefs are no different. You know, so uh, we get into this game against them on a very positive note, having had a good result in Cape Town, and we're looking forward to the challenge. What advantages do you think you have over Kaiser Chiefs, if any? Well, you know, teams don't normally have advantages over Kaiser Chiefs, you know. It's uh, normally the other way around. They think they've got the advantage. But the difference, I think, this season for us is that um, I think I've assembled a team that's very capable. Uh, we don't want to be anywhere near where we were last season. When I joined the club, we were just in a terrible situation. Um, in the second round, we picked up 30 points. So the confidence in the team at the moment is very, very high. Um, I don't think there's any advantage. Of course, we're playing at home here, but wherever you play Kaiser Chiefs, they've got their own crowd, you know. I'm hoping that tomorrow we have our supporters here. They will come. They've been fantastic uh, supporting us through last season and this season. Uh, and I don't think uh, any team's really got an advantage. I just think that uh, it'll be a very good game tomorrow night. Still uh, talking about your team, uh, Gordon, what are your targets for the season? Look, you know, obviously, um, we're going to fight for a top eight place. Of course, that's not our target. Our target is to try and finish higher than that. But we also got to be realistic. You know, we've got a completely new team here. We've got to build things. And um, if we can, if we can uh, comfortably fight for a top eight place, I'll be very, very happy with that. That'll be a big improvement. But we're not just setting our sights on a top eight. Just you know, you know, let us play five or six games or seven games. Let us see what how things go, and then I can make a better prediction <coughs> of what our, our, our target is. But right now, I think you know we'll take each game as it comes. A top eight place would be fantastic if you offer that, uh, you know, a lot of teams will accept that right now. And uh, we'll see how it goes, you know, but obviously we're a little bit more ambitious in that and let's see what happens. Uh, coach, normally when you plan your games, you have plans to say uh, Santos three points, Chiefs Sundowns one point. What, uh, what's your target on the game against Chiefs? What would the result, apart from a loss, obviously? No, I, 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 like my target for, for, for the first three games I said if we can get seven points in our first three games, I'll be very happy with that. We're not just playing any ordinary teams. We're playing against Sundowns. We're playing against Kaiser Chiefs. And, of course, Santos was a very, very difficult game. I mean, you saw Santos. When we played against Santos, they had a stronger team out than they had when they played against Pirates. They had Irwin Isaacs back, and they had a couple of players coming back from suspension and injury. And um, we targeted three points for that game. And, of course, for tomorrow, it's a home game. We're targeting three points, you know. Uh, gone are the days where we're going to come out and hope we get a win and, uh, and, and say, let's defend and try and catch them on a free kick. I think we're capable of matching any team. Any team in this league we're cap capable of matching. Not going to be an easy game, but we're going to take the game to Kaiser Chiefs tomorrow night and uh, we've targeted three points. I want three points from my first two games and a point against Sundowns. I'll be very happy with that. Coach, how much is it an advantage to you that now you've started the season with the team and you don't find them struggling and you can sell out your Yeah, look, it's always important. And I think that's, that's why uh, Kaiser Chiefs are one of the favourites. You know, they've got a bit of continuity. They've kept the same coach, the players are used to what he wants. But um, for me, you know, it, it was important to have a proper pre-season. Because when I joined the club last season, you know, for whatever reason, the players might have been overtrained, or they might have been overtrained, or they might have been undertrained, but they were very, very demoralized and very, you know, and it was a difficult situation. Now I've been able to manage my, my pre-season training. The guys are super, super fit. They're not overtired, they're not overtrained, they're just ready. And that showed, of course, in Santos, you know, in heavy going. It was raining like hell there, the grain was heavy, and the last 20 minutes we were very, very strong. We were very, very strong, and uh, the fitness of the team is superb at the moment. And of course, the players understand it's not difficult. I mean, I've brought in some players I've worked with before. Joseph McCunia, as you know, gave his debut when he was playing for Pirates, a couple of other players. So it's not a, it's not a big thing that people need to get used to each other. They, they're football players, it doesn't take them long. We've had a tremendous pre-season, lots of friendly games, and the guys are ready now. And uh, as I say, it's always important to start off well. What do you plan to do differently this year to further yourself in the competition? Well, I'm not going to, as far as, as far from my point of view, the question you're asking is difficult to answer because, I mean, I don't need to do anything different. I'll do exactly what I did last season. Last season, when I joined the club, we had two points, we got 30 points. The team that won the league won the league with 60 points. So if, I, if we got 30 points in 15 or 16 games, if you counted from there, we would have been on top of the league in the second round. I mean, it's, that's it. It's, no, that's not the. That's the facts. We've got 32 points. Two when we started, and 30 points. So I don't think we have to do anything different. I just got to maintain the, the, the work ethic in the team. The players are uh, tactically very aware. They know what they have to do. And we'll maintain that. We we'll just continue working on those situations. Uh, the players know where they put the jersey on. You know, and, and the most important thing for me to, is to 
is to get these players to understand that Morocco Swallows is a giant. It is a giant. And to put the jersey on and to play for this team and to coach this team, it's a privilege. And the players have got to understand that. You know, before it used to be Kaiser Chiefs, everybody feared Kaiser Chiefs. I want everybody to know they've got to fear Morocco Swallows. This is Morocco Swallows. This is not another team. And the players understand that now. And they're very proud to put the jersey on. And you can see by the fighting spirit, one nil down. You know, it's not easy to break Santos down. It's not. I mean, everybody knows that. They defend with 11 players or 10 players and just can't break them down. But our determination, our commitment, and the, and the, the attitude of the players was superb. And we need to continue with that, take each game as it comes, and keep working.